Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profo Declarations team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP using JWT. This is our part 20. Inside this video session guys, we will see about passing JWT token to other APIs. In the last video, that is video number 19, we had discussed about great detail that how JWT token basically form. So if we back to our code editor, now this is our login API. If we call this login API then we have to pass two parameters like email and the password. It will generate JWT token which contains about header, payload and the signature. All the three things we had discussed in great detail in our previous video. Inside this video we will see that the generated token by this login API how can we use in another APIs. So firstly, let's create a file inside this v1 folder. So I'm going to create a file and let's say read-data.php. Now it also works with the force request type. So again back to login API and I'm going to firstly include about JWT because in, th in this file we are going to use about decode method of JWT class. Now after copying that, if I copy the headers because the same request type you, we are we using inside this readdata.php and after that if I include these two files so copy and pasting here now after including these two files next we have to create our objects so if I copy these code blocks copy that back to our file and pasting it here all we have done about the basic settings. So for the basic settings, what basically we did inside this file, we have copied about JWT library file. After that, we have successfully included our headers. And after that, we have these two files. Basically, these two files creating about objects of database and the user object. Now next, inside this if block, we are going to get our data from the body section. So inside this, we are going to write something called data, let's say JSON decode. And inside this, we are going to use function called file get contents. This is a PHP function. And inside this, we are going to read the data from the body parameters. Now inside this body, if we check about let's say if not empty, and something we are going to use inside this data variable about JWT key. Now inside this key, we will pass about generated JWT token. So after that, let's say echo or simply we are going to write HTTP response code, let's say 200. And finally, let's say for the simple output, let's say echo, JSON encode. And inside this, I am going to pass an array and let's say status equal to 1 and let's say message simply let's say we got JWT token in a while we are going to decode that so firstly we need to collect this JWT from our postman now let's say that we are going to use this API we will pass some credentials to generate JWT token and after that that JWT token we will use inside this read-data.php so back to postman and this is our login api.php and also I am going to increase about the expiration time of the JWT token because as we have said inside our previous videos if you scroll down about the settings of payload now here we have said about the expiration means it will generate at the current time and after 30 seconds it is going to be expired now I am going to increase about 60 seconds save this file back to our postman and if we click on the send button now inside this output screen as we can see that we have now JWT again if I open a new tab and copy the URL go here pasting it here request type something post and this time we are going to call about read hyphen data dot php inside this we have to pass our parameters inside this body so if I copy this JWT go inside body and before that inside headers let's say content type equal to let's application 
JSON inside this body, raw, and let's say that we have a key called JWT and we are going to pass our value here. And the value I think that we have to copy right, right from this output. So copy that, go here and pasting it here. So click inside this double quote and control V to paste here. Now successfully we have passed about JWT key inside this body section. Now if we click on the send button. Now as we can see that we have a simple output called status equal to 1 and we got JWT token. Now the next thing we need to do is to decode this JWT because inside this JWT we have stored several informations about user data. So we have to decode and take all the user data from this token. So back to code editor. Now as we have remembered that while encoding this JWT, we have used a secret key to encode our data and the secret key, this same secret key we have to use while decoding that. So if we copy about the secret key, go inside readata.php and I am going to pasting it here. Now inside this JWT means JWT class also provides a method called decode method which is basically a static method. So if we search about let's say decode, pressing enter and if we search about the method and this is something here, not this, basically this is, this is JSON decode. So if we search about function decode, now this is. Now inside this decode function, we have to pass some parameters like JWT token, secret key and the algorithm basically we, we have used while encoding that. Now if we back to file, now let's say that before we are going to use called JWT, static means scope resolution operator and the decode method. Now inside this, the first parameter we, as we know that we have to pass our JWT. So data, copy that, pasting it here and this is all about JWT token. Next we have to pass our secret key. So copy, pasting it here. Now the next, we have to pass our used algorithm in the format of an array as we can see here. So go inside file, let's say that defining an array and inside this we have to pass our used algorithm. So as we check here and algorithm we have used called HS512 while encoding our information. So copy this algorithm, go here and pasting it here. All we have done now. So if we stored all the data, so let's say this should be decoded, data and if we copy that, go inside this message and let's say that here, let's pass about user underscore data and if we pass the output inside this variable, so save all these changes back to our postman and if we click on send button, now nothing appears, we have some error. So if we want to check our errors, so we need to enable our debugger mode, so let's I and I something set. Inside this we have to pass called display errors and we need to enable that. So if we save this file, back to our postman, again click on send button. Now we have error inside this preview called expired token. So this is a fatal exception. So also we need to handle that. So back to code editor, go inside footer and I'm going to write about this statement let's say about secret key. So I am to wrap inside try and catch block. And inside this I am to make an exception object. So exception should be ex and let's say it should be http response code let's say 500. It means that we have some internal server error and I am to write echo json in code declare an array and let's say that status equal to 0 and message 
is something about exception ex variable and get message as a method. Now this is the object which is declared with this exception class. This block is also known as error block. It means we are going to execute some statement inside this try block and if these lines seems to be error then automatically that error goes inside this catch block. So finally I am to copy these two lines again and I am to paste inside this try block. So find about try block pasting it here now save all these changes back to postman click on send button now we have some message so go to pt and this is known as expired token and this error basically we got because as we have set about the expiration time is about 60 second means of one minute so again back to login api create on send button again we have generated new token with 60 seconds of expiration time go inside this api if i replace this jwt click on send button now we have data we are getting data as status equal to 1 message equal to we got jwt token and all the rest informations as we go got inside this data key so again inside this request this token is only valid for one minute. After one minute, if we again make a request, then this token will be expired. So if we want to retrieve any information from this user data, obviously we can take from these keys. So if we back to code editor, let's say that we want to retrieve about the user ID. So let's say here, user underscore ID and as we know that user id is basically coming inside this data key and inside this id variable so go here let's decode the data and this is an object so we have to make something like decode the data we have to go inside data first not data we have to go inside user data so copy that back here user data next we have to go inside data and I think that we are doing some mistake user data has its key so get rid of that only data and inside this data we have a key called ID for the user ID so if we copy copy this user ID let's declare a variable here something user underscore ID and this is the value so save all these changes back to postman click on send button and again the token has been expired so click on send button copy this go here pins pasting inside jwt and click on send button so cannot handle because as we have also said that after generating this token we have to wait for a certain time period so back to login api so we have said about npf means not before so after generating we can use this token after 10 second so back to postman click on send button now as we can see that user id has a value of 6 so this is how we can take about the jwt token decode that and read all the informations which contain inside that string to our code so this is the first way that how can we pass our jwt inside body parameters but inside upcoming videos we are going to pass our jwt not inside this body we are going to pass inside this header section so question is that how can we then decode about jwt and read all the data so answer is quite simple we are going to make authorization key here and inside this the same token what we have passed inside this body so copy that get rid of this body parameter go inside headers and pasting all the value inside this authorization only we need to read about the headers in our api method so back to code editor now to reading all the data from headers we are going to use about get all headers function this is a php function so let's say here something jwt and before that let's say all headers so all headers 
and we are going to use call get all headers. This is a PHP function which returns all the header what we have passed while making a request. So inside this all headers also we are getting about authorization key. So let's say JWT or let's say data JWT inside this variable means we are going to store our token. So all headers contain so copy that pasting it here and back to our postman copy this key because our token is coming inside this key copy that go here and pasting it here all we have done now this time we are passing our header our token inside header we are reading from header and successfully we are storing inside this variable so save all these changes back to postman and again if we click on send button and as we know that I think that token has been expired again go here click on send button the new token has been generated but remember we can use this token after generated time of 10 second so pasting it here click on send button now we are getting the same data what we got previously so inside this video session guys we had seen that by the help of two ways we can pass our token inside api call so in the next video we will see that about creating project function means if we back to browser go inside our table remember we had made a table called tba underscore projects now inside this table we have to create projects according to the user id respectively means after login what basically we want after login taking this JSON data means JWT token by the help of this token we are going to create our projects and the projects know about the user ID from this token so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day